life of this world. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for giving me your wisdom and your word to make me a better person. Thank you for uplifting me to the highest heights and even higher. And that's one thing about God, bro. He's constantly ascending. So when you leave him, you're descending. It's double. That's why God says, you leave me one day, I leave you two. What, God is getting revenge? <laughs> no. It's automatic. It's axiomatic. You know why? Because if you and God were standing in a place and God went a mile to the right and you went a mile to the left, how many miles are you apart? Two. You get the point? He's constantly ascending. And when you leave him, you're automatically descending. That's what's so sad, yo. The Jews haven't figured that out. My people, my nation, who I love, and I know a lot of them, yo, and they're compassionate and they're kind. And the one thing about my nation I could say with pride, very smart, yo. <laughs> very, very smart. And it's expected to be like that. Why? Because when God chooses you to be his nation, you'll be the smartest nation. You know why? Because you'll have the wisdom of God in doubt in your spirit. Kaddish Baruch Hu, you know how much I love you. And I do these talks, not just for me. I do it for the whole world. But I just want every single person in this world to understand that you're great. There's no one greater. And you're the common denominator. You understand? Without you, we cannot be. Without you... This world would not exist. And I love what I told my friend the other day, yo. And I love what I told my friend the other day, yo. This right now is the world of lies. But God is going to take this world of lies and transform it into the world of truth. So this world will no longer be called the world of lies. It'll be called the world of truth. And that just goes to show you that when Mashiach comes, it's not just the people that sinned or did this or refused to do tshuva it's the liars bro they can never be in heaven like i told this one girl you're gonna keep cursing i don't care she goes i'm so close to god and then two seconds later she's like i effing went to the effing store i said i don't understand how you could be close to god and curse like that bro and it's not gonna go but i believe she's close to god why because i know her and she's a great person she just curses yo so i tried to explain to her you think you're gonna be in heaven cursing like that bro they will slingshot you out of it, but you wouldn't even be able to go anywhere near there talking like that with all your mitzvot, bro. They'll pay you in this world. Let it be like Shlul HaKen when you get paid in the next world. And God is so generous, says he'll pay you in the next world and in this world. <laughs> He's always looking to give more. He's the symbol of generosity, like I told my nephew, yo. <laughs> Ah, he's like, yo, I listened to your talk the other day when you spoke about me, yo, and it made me smile, yo. Because he knows what time it is, bro. He hears me talk. He understands the wisdom. It's not me. It's the wisdom of God. He got questions. And me and him go at it, yo. Sometimes he tells me things, bro, that make me, yo. This dude is a master at semantics, yo. I've never seen anything like that in my life, yo. He'll deflect. He'll reflect. He'll go up. He'll go down. He'll go sideways. He'll do everything he can. And while he does that, he's contemplating what he wants to say to try to trap you into saying something that will further his agenda. That's what I told him the other day, yo. Yo, you don't like that answer because it doesn't fit your agenda. Or else, what do you say? Agenda. It's not my agenda. It's my point of view. <laughs> Already he's playing with the words, yo. Very smart, yo. Yo, when I tell you, this dude is very intelligent, bro. And one day I have a feeling because I could see the way he was talking to my other nephew <laughs> like a father yo you know what I mean I could see so that's good the one thing about this kid that I have to tell you bro and it's so true yo I remember at his bar mitzvah I gave him like I don't know 250 shekel I don't remember what it was something like that and we were walking out from the hotel and he saw some guy homeless whatever he gave him the 250 shekel so I was like ah oh, what are you doing bro he's like what do you care it's my money I want to give it I give it so I was like you know what you're right <laughs> Because I felt like he could use it, you know what I'm saying? But he's like that, bro. He was compassionate where he was like, you know what? This guy could use it more. You would think maybe he get 50 shekel, 100 shekel. No, he gave the whole 250. You understand? That's the kind of heart that he has, yo. Anytime he sees people in the family like ready to get into an argument or like something like this, right away, yo. No, 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 don't say that. He's like always trying to make peace, which is dope, yo. Seek peace and pursue it. That's a big thing. And he understands that, yo. 
and he got that from his last life. And that's the craziest thing is that he doesn't believe in reincarnation, yo. And I don't understand. You see a three-year-old little kid playing the piano like Beethoven. Don't you understand, bro? That's something out of nature. And the only way that could be explained is through reincarnation. I don't understand, yo. Resurrection of the dead. You just got up this morning, bro. To me, the best proof of resurrection of the dead is that you get up in the morning. You understand? That's already showing you what time it is, bro. I have a feeling one day my nephew's going to be real close to Torah and real close to God, yo. I feel that. It might take a lot of time, yo, because the world is so full of lies and he keeps eating and they keep feeding, you know what I mean? It's real scary, but that's the way it goes, yo. The liars, bro. The lying destroys the liars and everyone around them, yo. Yo, these people, yo, these Democrats, man, you need to understand, bro. The, and I'm not even getting into the whole politics. I can't even stand talking about it. Your politics is such a dirty, ugly thing, yo. Really, it's just people being in charge to steal your money <laughs> and create problems, yo, and throw more money at it, bro. It's really dirty and disgusting, yo. You know why? Because there's no truth over there, yo. Justice, truth, and peace. How many times do I have to tell you that if you have a hand in destroying justice, truth, or peace, you're going to get destroyed eventually if you keep doing it, yo. Like if you keep cheating on girls and keep breaking their heart and you do it again and again and again and you don't care, one day you're going to get your heart so broken that you're not going to be able to put it back together. I will take the best looking guy who's a womanizer, right? He's like so good looking that all the girls, they keep going, he keeps cheating on them, they keep coming back. So like you're thinking to yourself, wow, this guy is going to, not me, I already know. You know what's going to happen? God is going to send him a girl so gorgeous that he's going to fall right into her hands. I'm telling you, bro. It happened to me, man. I'm telling you real talk, yo. I don't like to tell my business, but I'm going to tell you that with love, yo. When I was a young kid, you know what I mean? I used to like, wasn't so kosher, let's just say it like that. And, you know, if I was with a girl and I liked another girl, I would be with two girls without them knowing. And that's, and I got caught a few times, yo, and still got them back, which was disgusting on my part. That's not nice. You don't do that. But I didn't have to tell I was a young kid, you know, secular, regular kid, bro, from the streets. And then one day I met a girl years later, yo, after I already changed, I already changed. I would never be like that with women, treat women like queens, bro. You know what I'm saying? But only if you're modest, you fear God, and you're respectful. If you're not, I'm going to tell you to your grill <laughs> what time it is with love, though. Always with love, yo. Like now, to make up for sins that I did when I was younger, I go extra. So like with the women, I really put them on a pedestal. That's why I tell you with women like this, look, let me show you exactly how you do chuba when you used to be like me. And now you became like I am now. It's like a different spirit. Like your soul got transformed, yo. So it says that God gave the Torah to the house of Jacob. What does that mean? That he gave the Torah to the women first. How do we know? First of all, because they were much purer than the men back then. Right? When there was the golden calf. Who's the one that took all their jewelry and all their gold? Who? The men, not the women. In Egypt, where the men were like already too tired and broken, didn't want to really be aroused to be with their wives, to have children. No, the women realized without children, we're not going to survive, yo. So they kept, you know, doing everything in their power to keep their husbands interested. But for what? It's a lot of work. When a dude's not interested, he's not interested. She has to dress up, make herself look good. She has to do this, she has to do that. And it's not even allowed in Judaism like that. But this is obviously an exception to the rule. You understand? That's what I learned the other day. That was crazy, yo. That a girl is not allowed to propose to a man. Why? Because the Torah says a man shall take a woman as his wife. <laughs> Hashem doesn't want the woman being like that, yo. He doesn't want the woman begging. He doesn't want. That's one thing about God. How much he loves women. I'm going to show you right now. It says that a woman is not allowed to be a witness at a trial. Why? That's disrespectful, right? Like a woman right away is going, oh, that's chauvinistic. This is ridiculous. I don't agree with it. That's what somebody told me the other day. So I told her, relax, bro. Let me at least explain to you what's going on and then you tell me. So I told her the reason why God doesn't want her to be a witness at a trial is because when the defense cross-examines her, 
You know what they're gonna do to her, yo? They're gonna embarrass her, bro. They're gonna dig up dirt on her. You don't understand how dirty this world is, bro. Today, they might even just make like AI and make it up just to discredit her. You understand what I'm saying? So when she gets cross-examined by the defense, they're gonna dig up dirt on her and they're gonna embarrass her. And God is not with that, yo. He's not with a woman being embarrassed, especially a mother with children. She used to, God forbid, do like movies that weren't so kosher or pictures of her on the beach naked with a bunch of men around her or whatever, God forbid. They can make it look a lot worse than it is and discredit her. And they will discredit her and they will embarrass her. And if it's a 1% chance that she could be put in that situation and be embarrassed, Hashem will not allow it. You understand what I'm saying? That's why women cannot be witnesses at a trial now you tell me that's not beautiful to me that's beyond beautiful that's real love when you love somebody you protect their honor when you love somebody you would never shame them when you love somebody you would always make sure that they're protected and that's why God loves women bro I should probably name the name of this video that just to give props to the women women without women there's no you <laughs> I cannot be here right now without a woman. Facts, bro. If that doesn't end, like, so fascinating to me right there. You know what I mean? And that's why women are so amazing, if you think about it, yo. Because they have so much spiritual power, yo. Because they were so pure, so holy, right? Even though Eve was the first woman and she brought death to the world. We're not saying no. But that's because she was not doing the right thing. But when a woman does the right thing, Deborah... When a woman does the right thing, Sarah Imenu, when a woman does the right thing, you get the point, yo. It's unbelievable, bro. And let me tell you something. You should pray to God that your mother loves you the way Rachel loves Klai Israel. I'm telling you now, bro. Pray to God that everybody loves you the way Rachel loves Klai Israel. You should know that, bro. When you shed tears and are heartbroken because somebody you love is going through pain that's the definition of love you understand and I thank her for that yo and I learned from her that's mercy compassion you see my family has a connection with mercy you know how because my grandmother on my mother's side's name is Rachma that's mercy when you have that you're a Jew when you have kindness, you a Jew. When you have compassion, you a Jew. Sometimes I see Jews, God forbid, that are not so good. Arrogant, rude. I said, man, he's not a Jew. Maybe this dude is really not a Jew. Like, we could have to check him. Because if he doesn't have the kindness, the compassion, gever, gemilut chasadim, charity, right? To have compassion on the poor and the needy, yo. Come on, man, gather. Bet that he will be ashamed not to speak or act in a way that wouldn't represent God, right? And then Raish, I already told you what that is, my brother. Rachmanut. Gever. A man is charitable. He's shameful. And he's merciful. Please understand that for eternity, bro. Having shame is a beautiful thing, yo. If you're a mother and you have shame, you'll never walk on a beach half naked. You'll never flirt with men in front of your husband. You'll never do your makeup extra sexy to get attention. You will respect your husband. And by doing that, you'll give respect to God. And not only that, when you do everything I just said, you make Judaism look good. And when you make Judaism look good, the angels will sing for you when you get to heaven, bro. They'll probably feed you too. <laughs> Just like they did to Adam and Rishon, yo, yo, you don't understand, yo. I saw some videos the other day, yo, that were like, yo, I do not recommend watching this. And it's not that bad like you might think, but just to let you know, I'm giving you a warning. You can go watch it, yo. I, don't, I did it, and I'll tell you why I did it. I wanted to see what's the end of the wicked, yo. So it was something like vicious that I was like, yo, I got to see how that looks. I wanted to actually see it play out. So it's a kimono dragon eating like a goat or a buffalo. Now, the buffaloes, they can't swallow them whole. The goats, they do. Yo, it's a big goat, bro. It's not like a little, little, tiny, little baby goat. Bro, he comes right up to it, bro. He just grabs it and just swallows it alive. And the goat is inside his belly. You hear it? Making noise. Yo, 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 yo. 
Can you imagine the suffering, bro, bro? So you think like to Hamas. That's what Hashem would do like to Hamas. But it wouldn't be one second. He would keep replaying that. So they would get eaten alive. They would suffocate in the belly and die. Then he would revive them, take them out of the mouth, and replay the scenario every day for 10,000 years. That's the kind of suffering and pain those people will get. You understand? Yo, when you threaten Kla Israel, you have to go and get your head checked, bro. Really, for real. Even for people in Iran, where you don't know what happened in the story with Achashverosh and Mordechai and Esther, you don't know. You should really find out, bro. Save you a lot of trouble. Save you from a lot of pain. You're going to get up on stage and yell death to Israel and think you're not going to die the most vicious death. And even if you don't, you can live till 100. It's no problem, bro. And Shemaim, they have all the time in the world, bro. And you get your punishment over there, yo. What do you think? You're not getting away with nothing. But when you're going to go against God, the God of Israel, yeah, you heard it, right? Because he told it to you a bunch of times. That's what I love, yo. When you look at the Quran, you're looking like the New Testament. God forbid you should even study these books, yo. They're not from God, bro. From God, God, he already gave the Jews the Torah, right? And a big spectacle, yo, there was fire, lightning, clouds, rain. The people were scared. Not a dog bark, not a bird chirp. You get the point, right? So if he's going to take that book away from us and give it to another nation, he's not going to announce it to the world? He's going to let you know, bro, yo, I'm done with the Jews. Here, this is my new chosen nation. And then he's going to change his name from the God of Israel to the God of Rome. And that's it. And now you're in charge. And now you can say you're the chosen one. But that's not how it went, bro. I already told you three covenants. Why? Because we messed up, right? The golden calf, the spies. There had to be a couple of more covenants. Why? They had to remake the covenant. Even the Torah, the first Torah had to be, got broke. And then we had another Torah. By the way, one of the opinions why the first Torah got broke is because it was given in public so the Ayin Hara was on it. Yo, that's deep. Given at Mount Sinai. Sinai, see, not nah, comes from the word hate. The other nations got jealous, yo. But why? You had a chance. God came and gave you the Torah. You didn't want it, bro. Then when we accepted it, you got upset? Come on, man. That's why when you see a righteous Gentile, he knows the Jews are chosen. I wasn't. I respect it. And I'm still going to be a good person. <laughs> because hating destroys the hater, yo. Yo, let's talk a little Trump derangement syndrome. Listen to me, bro. They, like he said himself the other day, yo. Even if I got out of politics right now, they would still come after me like a Komodo dragon, bro. Do you understand? They don't like this dude, bro. Because he exposed them. That's what the wicked, they hate it, yo. The Arab, can you imagine you're lying to somebody for 20 years Stealing money from them And then somebody's gonna come And mess that whole thing up And embarrass you And do it in public You're gonna wanna kill him yo If you're a dirty nasty person That would even do something like that yo I'm telling you bro Some of these Democrats You see their true colors yo I'm gonna explain to you what I mean There was a rabbi one time I met He looked so nice You know like when you look at a person He looks soft He's like, harmless like that Bro, wicked, 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 wicked. You don't even understand. That's the whole wickedness of it, that they look so innocent like nice people. And they the dirtiest ever, yo. You can see just how dirty by the way they talk, the things that they say, the arrogance with the way they move. It's so dirty, yo. So dirty. So I saw a lot of Democrats, yo, that I used to think were like nice people, yo. But then when I see like the way they talk about Trump and the way they lie and they flip things and make it look one way when it's not, it's like I told someone the other day, it's like looking somebody in the eye, knowing that what you're telling them is gonna get them murdered. And you say it anyway, arrogantly and while you're smiling like that. I remember there was one rabbi I met. He refused to tell these people at the synagogue to stop driving the shoe. So I said to him, bro, 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 you got to tell them not to. I'm going to tell them. No, 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 you can't say anything. Why? Just tell them. It's better to pray at home, bro. You, they'll still give you money. They're still going to donate. What do you care, bro? No, 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 no. We don't say nothing. Let them do what they want to do. God understands. I said, bro, listen. You can only break Shabbat for Pekuach Nefesh. It's not Pekuach Nefesh. To come pray with a minyan. It's not Pekuach Nefesh, bro. Cannot say that's like a reason that you can okay it. 
So long story short was, I said to him, I took him to the side and I said to him, let me explain something to you. I said, this is how you're acting right now, just so you can understand. Imagine there was a guy at the beach, right? And he knew there were sharks in the water, even in the shallow, but they were like, you know, under, you can't really see them. But he knew they were there, tons of them, yo. And a family came to that same beach and was about to go into the water. And he didn't even warn them. He like let them go in the water and get eaten and die. Would you say he's a disgusting human being? Wicked and gross, bro. He doesn't even care about other people. Little babies were going in the water getting clean. He didn't even say anything. I said, that's you, bro. I know it sounds crazy. It's a hyperbolic analogy. But that's exactly what's going on with you. And these are the same people that when I drove to Shul, yo, Yom Kippur, Shabbat, bro, I didn't know. I didn't know I was starting to get close to Hashem. I had a broken leg, yo, I'll never forget that, yo. Yom Kippur, Shabbat, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, I walk in, they saw me drive, bro. Sadiq, Sadiq, Sadiq. What's Sadiq, I just broke, yo, are you crazy? You know, that could be probably one of the worst sins to do it. Of course, Hashem didn't judge me. Probably judged them for that, yo. How crazy is that, yo? Very scary, yo. It's very, very scary, yo. That's why the truth is above all. The truth is above all, bro. Don't you get it, yo? So when you see people lying, you can know they're evil and wicked, yo. Let me say that again. If you are a compulsive liar, you are wicked and evil. Wicked and evil. Let me explain something to you, bro. The policies of Joe Biden are killing people, yes or no? If you're honest and you're about the truth, you will admit it, right? You will say, yeah, open borders, people come in, fentanyl. He definitely has a hand in it, right? Nobody can say no. Now you hear somebody come up and say, all right, he's lying, you don't understand. The Republicans are stopping the border from being secure. And they go, yo, that's a liar. Now I'm telling you that that person that just did that, is beyond wicked and evil, beyond like Hamas. You're gonna tell me what are you talking about? I'm gonna tell you probably worse than Hamas. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because Hamas will tell you to the face they wanna kill you and kill you. And these dudes will look you in the eye, smile, knowing you're about to get murdered. To me, that's worse than Hamas. You understand? Think about it, bro. I'm telling you, it sounds crazy the way I'm saying it. But think about it, bro. These people are killing a lot more than Hamas kills, you understand? Crazy, yo. It's a wicked world, bro. All I can tell you is stick to God, be a good person, don't hate, don't you dare. Lie, bro, lying destroys the liar, bro. I'm telling you, you will eventually get destroyed with your lies, you know why? Because when you lie, you break justice, you break truth, and you break peace. When you break those pillars, you and your whole foundation will come crumbling down. Remember what I told you, bro. Better to meet a mother bear robbed of her cubs than to meet a fool in his folly. You know who's a fool in his folly? Somebody that tries to get Trump thrown in jail a billion times, 91 counts, $500 million, a little less, whatever you want, with interest, another trial, another case, another lie. And look at how Hashem punishes them, yo. Just a little, just a little to see if they wake up. And if they don't, he already knows they're not. But it's for the world to see it play out, yo. And then a little, he gives them a little here, a little there, a little slap here, a little punishment there. Fonny Willis right now, this district attorney, right? That's a little punishment right there, making them look real foolish, you understand? And by the way, stop telling your business to everybody, bro. That's what I would tell that girl. If I met that girl right now, I would tell her, but I wouldn't even want to meet somebody like that, yo. But if she ever heard this video, which she never will, yo, but it's for you to learn. I would tell her, yo, because I care about people. I would say, yo, don't tell your business to people like that, bro. Don't do that, bro. Regardless whether you're on trial, you're lying. It's obviously you're lying, fine. But in your regular life, bro, don't do that, bro. Do not do that. I'm telling you right now, bro. Because when you tell your business to people, you will not have peace in your life, yo. 
There are certain people in this world when they find out something negative about you, even if you did you buy, you became the biggest Sadiq, they're gonna try to bury you with that, yo, through their jealousy, through their hate, yo. That's why when you see someone with Trump derangement syndrome, you should know they're already possessed by a wicked spirit. That's it. They evil and they wicked. They arrogant and they smug. And we all know it. And if you're real, you say it. And if you're not, you play dumb. Get out of here with this, yo. This world of lies, bro. It's really, yo. I can't, man. I can't believe that these people would lie on this dude. Like, they're going to tell you that Trump and Biden have the same mental acuity, bro. Now, come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. You can say Trump messed up. Maybe he's this. Maybe he's that. Fine. Just be honest about it, bro. Stop playing with the truth and stop lying to the American people, yo. And to the American people, it's not a good look for you, bro. And I say, even though I live here, yo, in the States, fine. But I'm going to Israel. Bro. That's where I was born. And that's where I'm going to be. You know what I mean? Let it be known, bro. And the shepherd already knows, yo. Just a matter of time, yo. Like I told this one guy, I think I'm going to move to Israel. No, you don't want to go over there. It's, it's the same like over here. It's all corruption. And I said, good. So if it's bad over there and it's bad over here, I'd rather be over there, yo. Get out of here with this, yo. The world of lies, bro. The world better be careful, yo. I already told you we destroyed the world once with a flood. We'll do it again. Not with a flood. There's a lot of other ways to do it. Stop playing with this world, bro. Because God is not afraid to destroy the world. He already did it once, so get it through your head. And when he sees there's no justice, and he sees that there's no truth, and he sees that there's no peace, that's when he destroys the world, yo. And we super close, yo. Super close to Mashiach coming and this whole world getting flipped into the world of truth. And then you're gonna see all these liars, yo get embarrassed and shamed publicly in a stadium, live streamed. I already told you how it's going to be. The live stream your child to the whole universe, bro. Everybody will see it in a vision, whatever it will be, but you will know it and you will feel it, yo. And the wicked will be shamed publicly and the righteous will be raised up high. You know why? Because the righteous rejoice in their ruin. That's why. Because a righteous person gets punished, he understands it's for something I did wrong. I don't question God's justice when I do something wrong, bro. You understand? If I get a punishment, I understand. Even stub my toe, I know I did something wrong. What it is, I can't tell you I'm not God, but I guarantee you I did something wrong. There's no suffering without sin. You should know this, bro. I'm going to show you something deep to let you see how deep the knowledge of the Torah goes. The Gemara says that King David did not sin. But we know he sinned. What he did with Bathsheba was wrong. The way he handled the situation with Uriah, her husband. So we see for sure he sinned. So why does it say he didn't sin? You know why? Because he did chuba. When you do chuba, it'll all be erased, bro. You don't get it? You're not getting it, yo. I already told you with Lavan from Lebanon. They bring us problems and cleanses us. You understand? You should know it, yo. How ironic, yo. They call it the White House. You know why? Because they want you to think they're clean. It's Lavan. That's it. Joe Biden is Lavan. I just figured it out, yo. <laughs> Obviously, that's not true. It might be. Who knows? Yo? Only God knows. That's what I love. Who knows? Obviously, I was joking, but you get the point, yo. I'm gonna come innocent, yo. Like they're... The president is very concerned. With the American people, you're going to hear this girl say this all the time, the press secretary, the American people, we're always concerned about the American people. I just want to repeat so that everybody understands. We, the, he puts the American people, you know his thoughts are with the American people. And then you look at the border wide open. They show you mothers who lost their children to fentanyl. And you're going to tell me that's not demonic and evil to tell you that while that's going on. Is that evil and wicked? I'm asking you if you're listening to this video. If your answer is yes, bingo, bro, you know. If your answer is no or that gets you upset, then you have major issues. You know why? Because you stand for lies, injustice, and chaos. 
good luck with that, bro. And we know where that's gonna end up, yo. In a very bad place, yo. And that's it, man. I'll let you know. You got trumped arrangement syndrome. Get over it, bro. And stare the truth in the face and deal with the reality, bro. I'm telling you right now, if Trump wins, there are gonna be some Democrats that are gonna commit suicide, bro. I hope and pray it's not. Maybe it'd be good for them, yo, to keep lying. Because if he's in office for another four years, they're gonna try to bury him for another four years. Man, that hell is gonna get so deep, they're never gonna be able to climb out of it, bro. Like, they could, God forbid, bury you so deep that you just can't get out, man. It can be so deep, they can't even throw you a rope to get you out, bro. Yo, 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 y'all not, you're not getting it, bro. They're not, Kaddish Baruch Hu, the world is not getting it, bro. They don't fear you, bro. That's the secret, bro. The foundation of wisdom is to fear God. Maybe if you feared God a little bit, you wouldn't talk so much. Maybe if you feared God a little bit, you wouldn't walk around the house in a way that's so disrespectful. Maybe if you believed in God a little bit, yo, you wouldn't spew your lies like a spigot. Klai Israel, get it through your head because I love you, bro. Fearing God is a noble thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's the foundation to wisdom. You won't sin. I already told you the secret to life is don't sin. So that comes with fear. And once you acquire it, it's forever. You know why? Because it's the truth. The truth, but it has to be pure. It has to be unfiltered. It has to be so beautiful. You understand? The rawest form of the truth is the word of God. Everything stands on it, yo. Like I asked this one lady, because we were talking to her, she knows that I was impressed. So I said to her, what's the best proof of the power of speech? So she said to me that God created the world through words. So I told her that's a great answer. But I said, what do you think about this answer? I said, to me, the greatest proof of the power of speech is that a dream comes out the way it's interpreted. I said, think about that. If a big Sadiq came to a big Rasha, told him his dream, and the Rasha interpreted to be Gehenom for this rabbi, it's going to happen? Maybe. It might not happen. Who knows? So what are we learning? The fact because the speech influenced the dream. Yo, that's crazy. But you should know if he's a big Sadiq and you put an eye and hara on him, it comes right back to you. If he's a big Sadiq and you go to interpret his dream for the worse, it's going to come right back to you. It's always justice with God. You're not getting it, bro. <laughs> That's why I love him so much, yo. That's why I could talk about him for hours. I only make my videos 30 minutes, bro, because of y'all, yo. Some of y'all complain. It's too long. <laughs> no problem, bro. So I make it 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Another guy calls me up and ah, it's too long. Make it five-minute clips. I said, okay, so listen, bro. What do you want me to tell you? So listen to it, pause it, listen to it, and then listen to it like that. I should really make shorter clips, bro. I do agree, yo, that the people's attention is, like, not good, bro. Like the attention span is, oh, this dude with his motorcycle, yo. I hope you can hear it, yo, but you hear the plane coming over at the same time, yo. Man, that is so disrespectful. And then when he does it at night, same dude. Doesn't even live around here, bro. It's dirty, yo. That's all right. Hashem hears it. He sees the suffering of the people. It's not pleasant, like especially me doing a video. Can you imagine if there was somebody here, like a big artist that had a house? I mean, you have to get the whole house soundproofed, yo, obviously, but come on, man. Have respect for your neighbor, yo. Don't get a motorcycle with a modified muffler that don't, like, you know, you hear you from five miles away, bro. Like, don't do that, bro. Seriously, I have a little common sense, man. But, you know, when you're wicked and evil, you don't have common sense. <laughs> and I love what Hashem does, yo. He'll let you get away with the crime in order to give you more time. <laughs> That's why I always maintain, you know what I mean? Because I understand. In the end, he's gonna handle all of that, yo. All of that, all the arrogant and wicked people. He's gonna put them all in one section and get home. And I don't even wanna know what goes over there. Like I told you, when I saw the Komodo dragon eating the gold alive, and then with the water buffalo, bro, bro, how they do it, yo. They just nip him. 
right on the leg, a little bite. I said, the venom entered. It's a rat right now, yo. I said, it's already coursing through his veins, messes up the blood, and it bleeds out, yo. He gets paralyzed in that, well, in his leg. Two weeks it took this water buffalo to die, and the Komodo dragon just stood there and watched. Yo, how crazy. And then when he died, he just ate him up like it was nothing, yo. Yo, that creature is crazy, yo. You look at like a hippo, yo, like a hippo against the Komodo dragon, that would be craziness, yo. And then who do you think would win? They would probably both die. He would bite the hippo, and then he's already dead. And then the hippo would have bitten him in the fight, and then he would have died. Yo, how crazy is that, yo? <laughs> Yo, but that, if that doesn't show you there's a God, then you're tripping, yo. Like, come on, man. Come on, use your head a little bit. Wow, wake up, man. Please, I beg you. The Satan is very powerful, yo. He's a lot more powerful than all of us. But you know what he's not more powerful than? The Word of God. The wisdom of God. The Satan can get in your head. And you're about to do the biggest sin in the world, yo. And you're, you have desire, you're hot with desire. Like you're gonna do it, there's nothing could stop you. The only thing, not even if they put a barricade up, it would start just climbing. The only thing that would stop you is wisdom. If somebody explained to you, don't do that, bro. Because then forget about it, bro. It's not a good deal, it's a horrible deal. You're gonna have seven seconds of pleasure, 7,000 years of hell. Trust me, don't do it. You show them a picture of somebody that did it. I don't know, an article, a video. I don't know, bro. Intimated to his mind through telepathy if Hashem allows you. I don't know what to tell you, bro. But that wisdom would stop him, yo. Remember that, yo. Acquire it. It will serve you well, yo. The intelligence, the knowing that there's a God, knowing you're going to get judged. Don't you understand? The whole world was set up just to test who a person is. That's it. It's a test. Don't you get it, yo? It's all a test. Like right now, you see what happens to Donald Trump. Don't get upset. Because if you get upset, it means you don't trust God, yo. Put your ego low. Let it go and know that God is running the show. Bro, please. And if God forbid... I don't even have to say a prayer for him. You know why? He's already protected. When you do what you did for the nation of Israel and you're a goy, <laughs> your reward is going to be endless, bro. Trust me when I tell you Donald Trump is in a real good place. Man, he did sins when he was younger. I would never listen to him back then, yo. I might even get into some of the sins he had back in the day. And even recently, I said like four or five years ago, now, but this dude is a righteous Gentile, bro. He helps the nation. Yeah, you know how many people this guy helps? You wouldn't be able to like quantify it, bro. It's a lot, bro. A lot, a lot, a lot. And all his sins got cleansed. All these court cases, all these lies against him, all this suffering is cleaning his sins. So you can take all the Democrats with all their sins and put them on one side of the scale and take Trump and put them on the other and I can guarantee you it will tilt to Trump's side. You know why? Because his sins got cleansed. So he's the one that's more pure. And when you're pure, your side of the scale will tilt. You get it? Put them all on the left. <laughs> get out of here, bro. Lying, bro. I can name them one by one, bro. So many names I want to name, but I'm not naming names. I'm not even trying to insult anybody, bro. If I told you that you speak gossip, you create chaos, and you're a liar, and that you destroy justice, truth, and peace, and I told you that you're going to get eaten by a Komodo dragon, God forbid, yeah, that's going to be your end. I'm a bad person for telling you that. 
And let's say you really were. That was really going to be your fate based on all your sins. I'd be the nicest guy to come in. Well, I don't even know you, bro. You understand? I know, Akadosh, bro, that everybody is your child, yo. And you should know that, too. That's why you should always, always try to give respect to a person. But you also have to know that you cannot tolerate injustice. You should always know that, yo. But think about it. What does Hashem have mercy on a person? Stop when he's wicked, he's going to have mercy on him? Nah, Hashem would never do that, yo. Not even a human being would be do something like that, bro. A smart person with common sense and logic? Well, no, not that mercy on somebody that's trying to murder him, yo. Obviously, yo. So when would you have mercy when a person is trying to murder you? So when So when would you have mercy on a kind of person like this? You know when? When he does chuba and apologizes and you see that he's willing to kill himself before he will kill you, then you would know he did chuba. That's the power of God. You understand? He's giving you the perfect opportunity to come back continuously. It's like every breath you take, you can come back. And that's why his wisdom is so strong because in this world, without it, you're lost. You're scared. You're anxious. And you're full of anxiety. You want peace in your heart. Don't tell your business to nobody over here in this world. They like piranhas for the gossip, bro. Don't you understand? They're like the mice. They'll call everybody, say, come and look what I got. You know what I mean? Come and look what I got. Post it real quick, looking for the views, looking for the next scoop, looking to spill the tea, looking to murder another soul. Be careful, bro, because God is watching. Like Daniel said, there's a God in heaven and he will make justice. Be careful if you're a sinner and know that you can always come back to your father. If you did crack cocaine, God forbid, stole from your pops, right? And then 10 years later cleaned up, came in a nice three-piece suit to your dad, knocked on the door, said, I'm back, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, I'll make it up to you and you really loved your son, you would take him back like that. You understand? We all know it. That's real love, yo. I love that God could take nothing and make it into something. That's why we're all here in this world. But he can also take something and make it into nothing again. The power of Juma is in your hand. Hold it, grab it, use it if you're clever. Just want to thank you, Akadosh Baruch Hu, for giving me the ability to make another video praising your name and speaking your word. I love you forever and for always. And I just want the world to know that you should love him too. You know why? Because it would be so good for you, bro. You get such peace in your heart. You wouldn't take revenge. You wouldn't get upset. You wouldn't get angry. All those feelings of stress will leave you when you have the word of God. That's why it says, one who studies the Torah will be blessed. May it be for all of us. Love you to the world. And love you, Hashem, because you're above everything in the highest heights, the purest, most holiest spirit. May you protect your nation always, even when we don't deserve it. Like you taught me in the prayer for Thursday, even when you sin against me, in the future I'll forgive you always. At the word of the dispute, may many The God of Israel, loves his nation all the enemies of Israel the fact that God didn't attack yet means you should really be scared yo really scared good luck cause the end is coming soon um